السلام علیکم مائی شائننگ اسٹارز ویلکم ٹو دا ویری فرسٹ آن لائن کلاس آف سائنس وچ از بینگ آرگنائز فار یو آل بائی میٹروپولیٹن اسکول ہیلو آئی ایم یور ٹیچر مس علیشا راشد اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن اباؤٹ human body and living things this is our body which has so many different parts which we are going to learn today come on students now let's learn the names of our body parts This is our head where we have our hair do This is our ear through which we hear This is our hand through which we hold things This is our elbow which helps in bending our arm. This is our foot through which we walk. Eye is the part of body which allows us to see things. Nose helps us to smell things lips help us in talking and teeth help us in chewing legs are the support system for our feet knee helps in bending our leg let's read out the names again head hair ear hand elbow foot eye nose lips teeth legs knee now you all have to learn it with me guys head hair ear hand elbow foot eye nose lips teeth legs me so we have successfully named the body parts now it's time to know about their functions we are starting with the head which is the home of all the major organs jo hamare sensory organs kehlate hain aur head my dear students hamare sabse important part ko protect karta hai which is our brain air is the part which helps in hearing and it is the organ which also helps in balancing our body too hand is that part 
which is used for holding and writing. To flex our arm, we use our elbow and kids kisi bhi cheez ko jab hume reach karna hota hai uske liye bhi hum apni elbow ke through apne arm ko flex karte hain and us particular point pe us cheez ko reach kar lete hain moving on to foot to kids foot is that part just get through hum walk karte hain and my dear students it is the part which also helps in bearing our body weight means foot hamari body ka sabse lowest part hota hai और फुट ही के ऊपर हमारी पूरी बॉडी का जो वेट होता है क्योंकि हर किसी की बॉडी का अपना पर्टिकुलर वेट वेट होता है तो जिस भी इंसान का जो वेट होता है वो पूरा लाई करता है उसके फुट पे मींस पूरा वेट जो होता है वो उसके फुट पे जा रहा होता है वी सी थ्रू आर आईज and also help in focusing object close or far from you it means ki hamari jo aankhe hoti hain wo hame ek to dekhne mein bhi help karti hain plus ye us cheez pe focus bhi karwati hain jo cheez hamare ya to eye ke kareeb hoti hai ya humse thode distance pe rakhi hoti hai और उन चीजों में डिफ्रेंशिएट करवाती है कि कौन सी चीज हमारे आई साइड के नियर है और कौन सी चीज हमारे आई साइड के फार्दर है टू स्मेल थिंग वी यूज आर नोज एंड इट इज द पार्ट थ्रू एयर आल्सो कम्स इन टू आर बॉडी it means that nose is that part of body through which oxygen goes inside our body lips help in speaking and teeth my dear students is used for chewing our food legs support the foot and body while walking that means when we walk our whole leg is in working right so it gives support to the foot and the body as well and knee my students helps in bending our legs means jis tarah hamari elbow hamare haath ko flex karne mein help karti hai in the same manner hamari jo knee hoti hai wo hamare legs ko flex karne mein help karti hai aur hamari walking mein bhi usse help ho jati hai so we have all learned the functions of body parts the neck topic which we are going to discuss my kids is about living things living things my dear students are those who breathe eat grow and die if we make it a bit understandable to living things wo hote hain jo saans lete hain khate hain bade hote hain aur in the end mar jate hain let's read the definition again living things are those who breathe 
eat, grow, and die. Once again, living things are those who breathe, eat, grow, and die. Living things are categorized in three types, my dear students. How many types? Three types. Number one is human beings. The second one is plants. And the last one is animals. Number one is human beings, plants and animals. Now first, let's learn about human beings. So dear students, men, women, boys, girls and babies are all called human beings. Which means the living things you see around yourself as your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your friends or any relative baby are called human beings. What are they called? Human beings. Human beings can breathe, eat, grow and in the end they die also. Then comes plants. Plant is that group of living things, my dear students, that uses sunlight to make their own food. Plants wo group hai living things ka jo sunlight means suraj ki roshni se apna food prepare karte hain. As you can see, जितने भी plants होते हैं, उनको दो ही चीजें चाहिए होती हैं water and sunlight to make their food, right? तो जो sunlight है, उसके through plants अपने अंदर अपना food खुद ही खुद prepare करते रहते हैं and they also breathe. They have their food through sunlight. They grow and in the end they also die because they are also living things. The last type is of animals. Animals are responsible of their own food, shelter and most of them live in forests. Animals बेटा वो होते हैं जो अपना खाना भी खुद ही ढूंढ लेते हैं, जो अपने shelter को भी खुद ही ढूंढ लेते हैं और ज़्यादातर animals जो होते हैं वो कहाँ मिलते हैं? Most of them are found in jungles, forests. Okay. So, what is the most common thing which we have learned in living things? That they breathe, they eat, they need food and in the end they die. But the most important thing we have learned is that all living things need food. So, now let me tell you about why living things need food. Okay, living things need food to stay alive means zinda rehne ke liye. Living things ko agar food milega, tabhi to wo survive karenge, tabhi to wo zinda rehenge because zinda rehne ke liye hume khana chahiye hota hai, right? And second one is to get energy. Because अगर हम खाना नहीं खाएंगे तो हमारी body में energy कैसे develop होगी? हमारी body तो useless हो जाएगी अगर हमें food नहीं मिलेगा क्योंकि उसको वो particular energy नहीं मिल रही होगी जिसको वो require करता है means for working, 
for learning for studying and even for playing we all need energy and in the last living things need food to grow matlab bade hone ke liye bhi hame food ki zarurat hoti hai jab hamari body mein food jayega तभी तो हमारी बॉडी को सही एनर्जी मिलेगी और उसी के साथ साथ हमारी बॉडी अपने एज के हिसाब से ग्रो करेगी सो वी ऑल हैव लर्न थ्री थिंग्स वाई लिविंग थिंग्स नीड फूड फर्स्ट वन इज टू स्टे अलाइव सेकेंड वन इज टू गेट एनर्जी एंड द लास्ट वन इज टू ग्रो लेट्स रिपीट दिस अगेन लिविंग थिंग्स नीड फूड टू stay alive get energy and to grow once again living things need food to stay alive get energy and to grow that's all for the first online class let's have a short recap my dear students at first we have discussed the parts of our body and their function then we discussed about living things that what are living things and how many types of living things are there and in the end we learned why living things need food now it's time for your homework my dear students so first you have to do what you have to do is first you have to make title page of unit number 1 the human body remember my dear students title page should be neat and clean with so many colors in it after that you have to first photo state page number 2 of your book and then cut the picture of human body from that particular page and paste it in your notebook and after that do the labeling of body parts let me tell you again first you have to photo state page number 2 then cut the body of human in that page paste it in your notebook and label the body parts that's all for the very first class hope you all have enjoyed meet you in next class allah hafiz